Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to enter the dark web. Specifically in this first video, I will show you the tools you need to securely enter the dark web. You don't expect to enter the lion's cage and wish you can get out without any scratches. So it's the same way here. When you want to enter the dark web, you have to take some precautions. You have to secure yourself to secure your connection. And that's what I will show you in this first part. So the first tool we are going to need is the operating system, a Linux operating system called Tails. So all you have to do is go to Google and type in Tails, as you can see, T-A-I-L-S, and you click on the first link. Okay, so here we have the Tails operating system. You scroll down and you click on get Tails. So it asks you which operating system are you installing Tails from. So I'm using a Windows machine right now. So I will click on Windows. If you are using Mac OS, click on Mac OS. And of course, if you are using Linux, you click on Linux. So I will click on Windows. And here you go to download and install. So install from Windows. Click here. And it tells you what you need. In fact, you need one hour and a half in total to get everything set up you need one usb stick and you need another uh, pc or smartphone or whatever that's mm, not true in fact you don't need all of that all you need is a usb stick okay so make sure you have a usb stick of at least a gigabyte of uh, of memory of storage okay and the rest is very really easy so you click on let's go and the latest version at the time of the of recording this video is 4.15.1 okay so you click here and you start the download so i will not download this because i've already done okay so i'm gonna escape this close this the next tool we need is rufus Rufus will allow us to install that operating system on our USB stick. So you go to Google and you type in Rufus, as you can see, R-U-F-U-S. And you click on the first link and you go to download. You download Rufus, the latest version, of course, at the time of recording this video is 3.13. So you click on Rufus here. And again, I will not download this because I've already done. The next tool, which you probably don't need, I need it for recording this video, but you probably don't need this because this is a virtual machine. I'm gonna run uh, this Tails operating system that I just showed you. I will run it on a virtual machine. And the virtual machine that we are going to use is called VirtualBox. It will allow us to create our virtual machines, okay? So, in my case, I will download VirtualBox and install it and create a virtual machine to run the Tails operating system. But in your case, Tails operating system stands for the Amnistic Incognito uh, Life System. It means it's a life system. It, it's meant to run on a USB stick, not on a virtual machine. Okay, so in your case, I will show you the step to run Tails from a USB stick. But in my case, I will run it on a virtual machine. So me, I'm gonna click on VirtualBox here and click on download VirtualBox. And I'm using again a Windows machine, so I will cl click on Windows hosts. And again, I've already downloaded and installed VirtualBox. But I will show you also how to run it in VirtualBox in case you wanna see it on a virtual machine first. So these are the tools that we need. Let's get started to prepare them. So here I have my uh, Tails image, as you can see here. Here I have my virtual box and here I have Rufus. So the first thing to do is make sure you have your USB stick plugged in and we are going to install Tails in inside of our USB stick. So the first thing you need to do is double click on Rufus here to launch it and this is my uh, USB stick here it has um, um, I, I already installed Tails on my USB stick and I'm already using it so I will just show you the steps but I will not install it again 
So all you have to do is you choose the USB stick from this uh, drop down menu here, okay? And then you have, se you have to select the ISO or image of your operating system. So you come here and you click select. And here you have to browse to your operating system. So I have it on my desktop on a photo called Tails and you double click on the image here. Uh, this uh, extension that EMG is going to cause us some little problems with VirtualBox, but I got you covered. So you double click on this one and it will set up everything for you. So you don't have to choose the partition scheme or anything else. So here we have our USB stick in which we are going to install the Tails operating system we've chosen. And all you have to do now is click on start. Okay. Uh, when you click on start, it's going to show a message. It tells you that it's going to delete everything on that USB stick. So make sure you don't have anything valuable on that USB stick before you start the process. So I'm going to cancel because I've already installed Tails and on that USB stick and I have already some valuable things there. Okay. So I'm going to cancel this, but you go uh, all the way up. Once you've done this, in fact, you need to restart your computer and uh, click on uh, delete or F2, F12, it depends on your computer. And you have to enter the bio settings and choose to start from a USB stick. So you will not start your computer from the hard drive, but from the USB stick that is plugged into your computer. And this way you will run Tails uh, operating system. In my case, I will run it from a virtual machine. So I've already installed VirtualBox, okay? So I will run it here. You can still follow uh, along with me if you wanna run it again in a virtual machine, okay? So this is VirtualBox. And what we need to do is create a new machine. So we click here on new. And I'm gonna give it the name of Tails, okay? So Tails is a Linux distribution, okay? And it's, uh, you have some choices here about uh, some other Linux distributions, Fedora, Oracle, Red Hat, but it's in fact other and it's 64-bit. If you don't see the 64-bit versions of these operating systems uh, and you only see the 2-bit version, you may want to restart your computer, enter the BIOS settings again, and enable hardware virtualization. If you enable hardware virtualization, you will get the 64-bit. If you don't, you will only have the 32-bit 30, version. And this Tails OS is a 64-bit version, so you have to choose the other Linux 64-bit version. Okay, and then click Next. Okay, so I will give it a 1 gig of uh, RAM, that's enough. Click on Next. Uh, if you are installing other uh, Linux distribution, distributions, you will need to create a virtual hard disk. But because I've told you that this Tails operating system uh, is meant to run on a USB stick, it's a live system, so you don't need a hard disk. So I'm not just going to click on do not add a virtual hard disk and click create. It's warning me that I have to create a virtual disk, but I know that I don't need it. So just click on continue. And you have this operating system here. Before you start it, we have to specify uh, how it's gonna run. So you enter the settings here. And here we have to go to display. I will increase a little bit of this uh, video memory all the way up. What we have to do, in fact, is we have to go to storage here. We need to add a, a special hard disk, okay? So we'll click on this controller here, and here we click on add hard disk. And from there, we have to add, click on add. And you browse to your Tails uh, operating system. But the problem here, as I told you, is that this Tails image is a .emg extension. In fact, VirtualBox doesn't know how to deal with EMG images. We need to convert this image into a virtual disk that uh, VirtualBox we know how to deal with. And to do this, we are going to uh, go to C, um, Program, and search for Oracle. Here it is. And VirtualBox. 
and you click on this bar here you copy the entire path okay so right click and copy and we need to run a uh, cmd so command prompt if it doesn't show up just type in cmd right click on it and choose run as as, as administrator okay and what we have to do first things first is we need to go to that uh, location so you click on cd and you right click and it's gonna pass the uh, the pad that we already uh, copied so cd and right click or cd you go to edit and uh, paste okay click enter so from there we need to type in v excuse me vbox manage dot exe okay vbox manage dot exe and what we need to do here is we go again to our tails image okay where you have your tails image you click here again and you copy it again so let's go back to our command prompt so vbox manage dot exe convert dd okay convert dd and then you paste again your uh, tails uh, path so you go here edit past or you uh, control v or you simply right click copy right click and again a backslash and choose the name tails you type in the name of your uh, of your image here so all i did is start typing it t-a-i and then on my keyboard i press the tab button so the tab will help me auto complete what i am typing so we are going to convert this image and i'm gonna right click again and do again a backslash because i want to create my uh, disk inside this folder here and i'm gonna type in tails again then press the tab key on my command and this time i'm gonna delete the img extension and type in vdi and what it's going to do is it's gonna convert from this image to this uh, virtual disk okay so press enter and it's gonna take uh, some while as you can see here it's creating this vdi for us this is gonna take some while so i will pause the video until it's finished well it's uh, done it's completed it didn't take a long time so here we have our vdi as you can see which is about the same size as our image and now that we created our virtual disk we need to go back to virtual box so this time it shows up in the uh, in the window here so let's double click on it and click choose and that's it so all you have to do is now is click on ok and you click on start the machine so the machine is starting right now and here we are using the tails operating system we are running it in a virtual machine so you click on tails here and you press enter well it's taking a long long time and it didn't start up i don't know why so i guess i will have to boot from the usb to show you how to enter the dark web so i'm gonna in fact close this virtual machine and power it off and as I told you, I will uh, continue from the Tails operating system for the next video. So if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And of course, share it, share it, share it. Thanks for watching. Take care.